I don't need to tell you guys that this is going to be a more serious video this time. You can probably figure that out. I've been away from social media not because of the situation. I was away from social media previously due to family issues that I've been trying to figure out. Um, and I'll acknowledge that probably in its own video, but right now there are more important things to talk about than what the fuck has been going on in my life. I've been wanting to make this for a while, but to be honest with you, I don't do confrontation well, and I didn't know what to say, because nothing I say pretty much can make it better. I can't, I can't bring George Floyd back. I can't bring back anybody, any people who have been the victims of police brutality. I can't ease pain. And I can't make people be better. I can say up, down, and sideways that all of the cops involved in George Floyd's death need to be punished. But, you know, what does that mean at the end of the day? Like, I just watched Tamara Woods' video on how you can be an ally on AuthorTube. And she made me realize that, yes, you, there's nothing I can say or do that erases the crimes or, or, you know, makes things right, but silence isn't an option anymore. So I'm not being silent anymore. Yeah, I'm afraid of confrontation, but fuck it. Someone's got to say something, and a lot of people are. So, here's what I'm going to say. As uncomfortable as I am with confrontation, it is definitely way more uncomfortable to have someone, a police officer, someone who's supposed to protect, you know, the innocent, kneeling on your neck for nine minutes. That is way more uncomfortable than confrontation. It's way more uncomfortable to be tased 30 times until your heart gives out. It's way more uncomfortable to be shot multiple times. It's way more uncomfortable to be tear gassed and maced and beaten and pushed because you had the audacity to say, you know what, this is fucked up. So what right do I have to be comfortable when so many people are feeling the discomfort of all of those actions that I just listed and a million other actions? Black lives matter. It's that simple. And the people who try to say, well, all lives matter. Yeah, all lives do matter. The problem is that black lives are treated like they don't matter. At no point did anybody say black lives are more important than other lives. No one ever said that. All that was ever said was that black lives are not treated like they matter and they need to start being treated like they matter because they do. <sighs> I wish
wish I knew what else I could say. I t I'm kind of... I do know something I can say. I understand if you can't protest, hell, I can't protest. I have to help take care of my family right now. If you can't protest, but you have the money to do so, donate to the cause. If you don't have the money to donate to the cause, there's another way that you can help. There are videos all over YouTube right now that are several hours or minutes long with several ads in them. And the ad sense from all those ads on those videos goes to the cause. I'm going to link one that I found through a spill sesh in the description below. Watch it. Watch the whole thing. Watch it three times, four times, five times. Put it on the background while you're doing something else. Put it on the background while you're writing. Put it on in the background while you're cleaning the house. Just watch it. That's all you gotta do. And the only other thing I can think to say at this point is on the behalf of all the damage that all the bullshit that has happened. I'm sorry. No, I didn't do any of it, but I didn't speak up because I was scared. And I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. And as another thing that I want to do, because I realize that my reading is very lacking in diversity, not by choice, but by the, <laughs> the fucked upness that is the publishing world. When you, re when you read what is on like the bestseller list for a lot of what I read, a lot of the characters in those books look like me. And they don't look like a whole lot of other people. They don't look like African Americans. They don't look like Latinx people. They don't look different than me. And I need to diversify my reading. So I'm asking for recommendations. If you have a book in the sci-fi genre, the fantasy genre, or the uh, what am I? Why am I forgetting it? The romance genre, where the main characters involved are of minority races, or minority sexualities, or they're of non-conforming gender identities, anything. Just direct message me your recommendation and I will add it to my list and I will get reading because I gotta, I gotta educate myself and I gotta diversify. Thank you for watching, and I really hope that through the actions and the words of all of us, we start to see something different. <laughs>